Hey guys, this is the Nighthawk Brandon Gannett's filling in for Tori Yates or this week, and this is TYO. Ah! Out of nowhere, yeah! In tag team news, Kofi Kingston and Biggie Langston defeated Kid and Cesaro at Extreme Rules to capture the coveted tag team belts. It's good to see that WWE is finally giving a push to some wrestlers with a little ethnic diversity. Now, as a woman of color, I'm happy to say it is indeed a new day. I mean, not so new of a day that black wrestlers in the WWE aren't one-dimensional caricatures of African American culture shucking and driving their way down to the ring, and not so new of a day that the WWE didn't have them cheat their way into the title. But still, it's a new day. Seth Rollins retained his heavyweight championship over Randy Orton at Extreme Rules, but word off screen is the WWE has encouraged Rollins to stop using his curb stop finisher out of safety concerns for other wrestlers. They will, however, still strongly encourage all the wrestlers to jump through wooden tables from the top of 15-foot ladders. Former WWE superstar CM Punk commented on his past wrestling career by saying, it doesn't mean anything. It's fake. Wait, he said what? It's what? He's kidding, right? He's joking around, right? Yeah. Punk <laughs> also went on to say that your dog Charlie didn't really go to live on that farm and that the whole Santa Claus thing is a bunch of bullshit. Billy Corgan is signed on as a senior producer with Teen A Wrestling, vowing to take the show's content in a new direction that explores issues of race, socioeconomics, gender equality, and also bra and panty matches. The WWE announced the return of Tough Enough, the show that gave us The Miz and Maven, I guess, I, guess, I don't know. The show will return to the WWE Network this summer, but there's really no need to watch the show as I think we already know who the winner is. Come on, Tough Enough. That was a back handspring, 5'9", 200 pounds, Gainesville, Georgia. Hit me up. What was your favorite part about the Marine Boar? I, I, actually, I didn't see, I didn't see it. <laughs> you haven't seen the cinematic tour de force that is the Marine Four. Bad News Barrett won the King of the Ring tournament, joining a prestigious list of past winners, such as Triple H, Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Mabel. During the tournament, Booker T mentioned that Neville could have possibly been the first ever high-flying King of the Ring. Continuing with, Owen Hart was a high flyer, but he couldn't defy gravity. Tell me, he didn't just say that. Roman Reigns and The Big Show had the best match of the night at Extreme Rules. What's happening? What's happening? I've ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. Thanks guys for watching. If you like what you see, share, like, and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on bearhuggingout.com. Until next time, this is TYO out of nowhere. Nope. Yeah, that's right. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena, sir.